If you always want to work with having the explanation first, you're going to work very slow. Ask any boxer to explain first. He's going to have a very broken nose. And that goes for artists as well. If you always want to explain why, you're going to have a very broken artist's nose. I think every artwork is about keyhole. It doesn't matter how conceptual the work is, it's still the idea that you're looking through a keyhole. And it should, it's both that you're getting this intimate feeling that you're looking through something, that you're in one room and looking into another room, and actually you're peeping, in a way you're peeping into to another sphere. On the other side of the trains, of these kind of mute trains, there's a room of sculptures, like some of them are moving. Inside the plinth we put like mechanic stuff that they make sound, metallic or glass or wood sounds. And you walk through this kind of Latina magica of moving sculptures, shadows, and you get like dizzy. That you feel even more alien there. You feel you're passing through somebody else's head. And also because they move, and sometimes you get the light in your face, you're not really sure what you're seeing and where the sculpture stops and where the shadow begins. I'm not necessarily the best one to tell my own story. I think uh, I'm the best one in my studio. But the moment it, it leaves the studio, the work should be so strong that it can survive in many different contexts. If you're that kind of artist who can only survive in a, in a white cube, you're fooling yourself. Because your work anyhow in the future is going to be in a flea market, it's going to be on an old ferry, it's going to be in somebody's house, it's going to be in a basement. And I like the idea that even if a work is behind the door in somebody's house, it still, you know, have this kind of, it's still vibrant. Mm -hmm. So, I feel confident letting other people, the, the other weird word, curate the work. I don't have to agree. I think the work should be able to survive that.